What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is September 1st, 4... 4.40 in the morning, and I have not slept a single wink all night because I need to start waking up early again because I don't think I actually woke up early at all all last month. Um, so yeah, we have reset our biological clock, and I am going to operate... It's still dark out today on zero sleep so first thing we're gonna do is an ice cold shower and then a fucking full scoop pre-workout we're definitely gonna throw it up later but it's okay i just spent the last four hours on tiktok and uh i don't think i looked that tired maybe a little bit um but yeah just so you guys know no cap <laughs> This time. Shorts on and all. Fuck it. <sighs> Ooh, that is cold. Oh gosh. That is some cold ass water. <sighs> oh god, that's gonna fucking suck. Alright, well that was Satanism. Let's uh get ready for the gym. <sighs> Alrighty. We are ready now to uh, dose up. You guys already know the deal. Use promo code Leo at checkout for a little discount. Um, yeah, last couple times I've taken this, I've actually thrown up. So probably gonna happen again. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna need caffeine to get me through the whole day because it's gonna be killer. Um, so I'm literally doing a full scoop, and I haven't done a full scoop of this since I bought it. Uh, I actually took a little caffeine tea break at the beginning of the month, um, and then I've just been doing half scoops for the last two weeks. And so yeah, we're just gonna fucking full dry scoop this hoe, and uh, you know, we'll see if we die. Tastes like shit too. Sour cherry colada. Whose idea was that? It's so quiet out here. Wish you guys could see this. It's crazy. I forgot how like peaceful it was and everything's like you can't even see anything, so I chimed in with the haven't you people ever heard of? Closing the goddamn door. No, it's much better to fix these kinds of things. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we have just pulled up to the gym. As you can see, my energy levels are at an all-time high. Let's see how long that lasts during the day. Um, I'm going to try to film. I always feel so awkward when I do, but fuck it. Today's about being uncomfortable, so let's fucking do it. Alright guys, update. I'm sweating out here. I actually, I've been getting into this. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've been going hard. Um, I did end up throwing up 30 minutes in, so go figure. But it's okay, because uh, we're still going after, getting after it. Um, we'll get a nutritious breakfast to make up for it and drink plenty of water. So, you know, let's just keep going. Alright guys. Sorry. That was like, I went in today. Like, that was the most... Brutal workout I think I've had, leg workout anyway, in a while. Really just fucking gave it everything I had. Um, but yeah, it was a great workout. Cannot complain. Um, energy levels are kind of down, but it's okay because we are going to take another cold shower and then go to the office and put some work in, have a productive ass day, and probably honestly fall asleep at the office. But let's see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we can see 
some light now. It's kind of what I want to show you guys earlier. Like, it's just so peaceful out here. Sometimes I forget what quiet sounds like. Yeah, we're heading to the office now doing some busy work. And uh, yeah, let's get after it. There's something about the morning vibe. It just hits a little different, you know? You know, I don't know. It's just an energy, it's a certain type of energy. And, uh, you know, I, I miss it. I, I forgot how good it felt. But anyways, in other words, we are going to have a little fun with Cassandra. So what we're gonna do is she's extremely sheepish. So I am going to park in the back and then keep all the lights turned off. And so when she gets here, we're gonna give her a little scare because I know that she goes through and checks every room, see if there's any homeless people. So I'm going to leave all the lights off, leave everything the way it should be. And then now we're gonna unlock the back door here. Turn the lights on so you guys can at least see me. Um, and yeah, it should be should be pretty fun. We'll leave the lights on for now. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can't get a good reaction out of her. So any homeless people back here? Hello? No? Okay, we should be safe. All right. My God! God damn it! Oh, dude. So you guys might be wondering why I'm doing this ridiculous challenge. Sleep is important, obviously, and so it's like, Leo, why have you been awake for 20 hours? Well, a lot of things play into that. I've been practicing mindfulness a lot more, getting into meditation, actually just becoming aware of my thoughts and all of that. Last night I had a really deep meditation session where I really went in. I just became aware of my whole thought process and really it was it was a lot to process. So it was, I did this at 8.30. I tried going to sleep at 10 and from 10 to one, I was, just, I was in the alpha brainwave state. So it's like, I wasn't conscious per se, but I wasn't asleep either. Like I was aware of my surroundings. I just wasn't processing anything. And so in that time, I also had some thoughts kind of reflecting on where I am in life. Obviously the series titled um, Road to Millionaire, you know, my whole thing is becoming a millionaire by 25. I've been, I've been saying this since I was 19. I've been trying my best to get there. I'm 23 now and my net worth has basically peaked at $20,000. And I'll actually show you guys right now. So I'm just gonna be completely transparent with you guys and share everything, my whole net worth um, as of when I started tracking it. So last August is when I started tracking it. I was literally broke. Like I promise you guys, I was dead broke last August. Like I had $1,400 in my account. Um, I didn't know, I didn't understand how to budget. I didn't know how to save living below my means. And uh, it really was just getting by, it wasn't working as good as I should. But uh, I learned, I, I, I feel like I acquired those skills. Like budgeting and understanding where your money's going is so critical. As soon as I started utilizing the skill, next month I fucking got up to five grand. The month after that was 11 grand. Mind you, here I started trading stocks. It was making a hundred bucks per day, plus the commission checks from my uh, job at Soderberg. And over the next couple months, I was able to accumulate upwards of $20,000 liquid assets. So pure cash before after that i bought my truck which put me down uh, about 12 grand but i was able to recover that in uh, january after january i moved to warrensburg missouri here so i you know clean slate no no new deals coming in the pipeline um so i kind of had to live off of what i had saved up as you can see that february i had a lot of moving expenses um rent you know furniture all the stuff like actually buying my own food uh groceries all like properly adulting right and so that luckily i was blessed and fortunate enough to get a ten thousand dollar check 
um, in that March. And in the following months, you see how it just went downwards. Like I've not made a good check, a, a $9,000 check since March, right? So I made $5,000, um, $5,000 check in July. So that skyrocketed a little bit. But as you can see, like no real new deals have been made in the pipeline. And so right now I'm currently negative 675. Um, that's my net worth right now, quite honestly. And I just want to put it out there. I want to be real and raw with who the fuck I am, put my life on a billboard so I can hold myself accountable. So you guys know I'm being completely transparent here. Like literally I'm fucking up, like straight up, I am fucking up. I've made three grand since I've moved to Missouri, roughly. Um, four, four deals, um, four roofs built in the whole year on me. Um, I've split deals, but that doesn't really count. I have one deal that's going to be roughly $10,000, but really I've already taken $2,500 out of it this month just to get by because I, as you guys know, I moved to a new place, more groceries, how to get the air mattress, some furniture, you know, all that stuff. And so gas too, like I, I'm blowing like a hundred bucks a tank and I have to drive like everywhere. So it's literally just, you know, like I've, I've let it slip. I've let my finances slip. I've become lenient. I've become slacking. See where I'm spending the most here too. So when I was living in Colorado, I was able to live roughly from 2,500 to 3,000 um, a month, literally gas, food. I ate out a lot. Um, in the later months, I, as you can see, it got a little lower because I started cooking more at home. December obviously is when I bought my truck. So that was like 12,600. And then, so that that is technically a, an asset I can liquidate, but really I'm only gonna get like nine or 10,000 out of it now. So that's roughly what my net worth is, minus the 650. Um, and then, you know, I was down to $2,000 in January. Industry, after October, you really don't get much deals. You get one or two, like $2,000 checks here and there, but really you were just, we're surviving and not thriving. So February, I spent 2,000. Um, March 3000. April was crazy because we went to NOLA. Let's see, let's kind of see where the majority Chipotle, Dairyland Auto, so the insurance, um, $200 most likely for weed, $950, 200, another 200 most likely for weed, um, 200 in Denver. Oh, yeah, the okay, I remember now. So, what happened was we had a bachelor party and Nola. So I, you know, I offered to take everybody out to a like nice restaurant, ended up being 950. I couldn't cover it because my, you know, fraudulent account. So one of my buddies got it. And then I just had, I just paid him back like the 700 or whatever it was. And then 200 for walking around money, um, you know, 200 West Place in Denver. So that was another fee. Um, Casey's a hundred dollar fill up there. Walmart, 323 in groceries. So that was most likely just some random shit that I needed for the house. Walmart, 133 for grocery. Nola expenses, 175 at this fancy restaurant here. And then last month was another big hitter. Another big, big amount. Just a bunch of, as you can see, like literally I just eat out. But yeah, regardless, that all adds up. August, obviously $5,000 because I wanted to, Everybody's got birthdays this month. I wanted to treat, you know, my family, do all that stuff. Um, obviously moving into the new place has expenses as well, traveling and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it, it adds up for sure. So I really totaled $65,000 spent. And so at the beginning of the year, I really was so sold. Like I was, I, I promise you guys, like I was 100% certain by December, my net worth would be 100K. Like I just, I was certain I was, I had no doubt in my mind that that's where I was heading. And it's September now, it's literally the first of September and my net worth is negative 1,200. Um, and that is just in credit. I mean, I, I paid the minimum amount. I just need to wait to get paid on the Carlisle deal. And uh, so that, that really went through my mind and I started analyzing where I went wrong there. Like why, what's with my spending habits? So that's that's also another reason I, I broke down the budget uh, spreadsheet over the last two months and tracked every single expense I've made, categorized them in a very neat fashion, just so I can have a better understanding as to where I am. And really, it's just a lot of gas. 
$791 in gas for August. That's what I spent. Um, let's see another big hitter, 311 for insurance. But that's also because my sister got a new car and I went ahead and covered the insurance for her. On that, rent 350, phone bill 120, um, groceries 400, dining out self. So me eating out by myself, $222. Me paying for everybody, a dining out party, $468. So every month, that's a reoccurring theme. I just, I, I believe in giving. If Muhammad Gandhi once said, I would never let a meal go by without ever giving a little bit to it. And I, the power of giving is just, it's exponential. Whether I get it back now or I get it back later, you know, I, I just like to give, you know what I mean? And so $400 in personal care. So, you know, hygiene, supplements, uh, clothing, haircuts, you know, chiropractor slash massage, which I could really cut out. And then entertainment, 650, you know, golf, bars, weed, live events, movies, uh, you know, anything miscellaneous that ended up being around there. Um, general, and I could write a lot of this stuff off, so my taxes weren't too bad. I paid 1013 in taxes this year, um, and that's only because I didn't have insurance, so I was able to write off a lot. And I basically had my business, ex business expenses to where I only made 7000 last year. Another reason I'm going to fire my accountant because she knows I knew I asked her specifically to put me under the $30,000 range so I can qualify to buy a home next year. Um, but I'm shit out of luck there. So now I'm going to have to wait another year or get a co-signer in order to get an investment property um, or figure that out somehow or just make more money. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's kind of my like what I was thinking of last night. I was just like, man, I have really just not been as disciplined as I should be, not getting the deals I should get, uh, living life a little too much. Like I really haven't made any investments since February. Like I haven't had liquid cash since around April. Where, and also I took a huge loss in February. So I had about 10,000, 9,000 in my trading account. And then obviously Biden became president. All my stocks tanked. Uh, the AMC, I'm, I lost two grand just straight up in AMC. Um, Tesla, I lost about three grand, and that's straight loss. So I was able to write that off, um, luckily, which, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's unfortunate. At the time, I was like, oh, I'm going to make this back so easy. Like, it's not a big deal. But, uh, you know, my spending habits got out of control. The deals out here in Missouri weren't as fruitful as I thought they were going to be. So, yeah, that's, that's where I am. It really set in that I have two years to make fucking seven figures and i still am convinced that i'm going to achieve it one way or another i mean if i can get a million in shopify sales this year i'll bring home about 200k profit right and so with that 200k profit on top of any commission i make from soderberg i can literally if i just had five thousand dollars i can at least make a hundred bucks a day and with twelve thousand dollars i was making a thousand bucks on some days trading so i'm i'm not too worried about that once, once the liquid comes then i can start branching out and in investing in my multiple streams of income right eventually i can buy a house refinance that house start getting liquid assets so i wouldn't exactly be worth a million liquid but yeah, as long as my net worth is a million i'm okay with that by 25 so i'd have a couple homes right obviously one i'm renting out hopefully house hacking day trading as well, um, e-commerce store, hopefully I'm bringing home around 200k a year from there. I don't want to make it a full-time thing. I would probably just hire somebody to manage it about, you know, 40 something k a year. Um, and then uh, just, you know, write that off. Once I figure out what I'm passionate about, start my own business where I can actually start making a profit. And uh, that's, that's where I am right now. Um, obviously, I'm so far behind. I couldn't sleep last night because I was just had all of this running through my mind and it's just like why like life is just testing me you know and so that's kind of another reason I just fucking went in this morning I just hate like I hate where I am right now I hate the mistakes I've made you know I I brought in like four guys here at Soderbergh because I truly believe that I could change their life and it ended up failing I failed as a leader like straight up I failed I failed every single one of them. All of them were went broke, spent every last dollar they had. Missouri was a bust, right? And so that's on me. And I could have been better. I know what I I know what I did wrong. And so I have to live with that, right? I I live with that every day. I think about it like I have 
I thought at the beginning of the year, I was a $100,000 individual. August was a real eye opener for me that I have such a long way to go. Like I have an insanely long way to go. Like I am nowhere near where I need to be. And I really need to just tighten up, get my disciplines in order. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe it's just the tiredness where I'm just kind of like ranting to you guys and just fucking pouring out my heart. But, you know, that's kind of where I am right now. Um, all of that stuff really hit me. So, you know, I just I just have to be here at seven in the morning, fucking tired as fuck. And I just research product, fucking figure out some way to generate business or Soderberg so I have some sort of income coming in. So I'm not stressing all the time. Um, get this dropshipping store going because I have a year to make it profitable. I have a month. At the end of this month, I'm hoping I've made at least 500 bucks. So I need to launch it. I have one product on my website right now and I've just been straight up slacking because I like to fucking hang out, you know, and not do shit. So that's on me, really. At the end of the day, it's on me. Um, just got to tighten up, you know. So at the beginning of the year, I made a vow to myself to not sleep with anybody until I was a millionaire. That lasted about until July. So that's that's one of my big downfalls as well. Just the energy that I put into women. I'm quite honestly, there's about like seven different girls that are romantically interested in me right now. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a toxic habit of mine. And I just, and I think it stems from some deep psychological, you know, childhood trauma that i really need to you know account for and fix and make healthy because it's just it's taking so much energy right and so that on top of trying to train four new guys and make them successful and get them in the right mindset to be self-sufficient and go out and get deals combined with my own shit trying to get my own deals combined with trading combined with my family making sure that they're okay and they're paid all their expenses are paid for it, it it quite honestly just overwhelmed me and I was too blind to see at the time I was too proud to acknowledge it that I was in over my head I just figured that I would figure it out right because that's what I do if I don't fucking know something I just fucking sit down and take a couple hours to figure it out and fucking whatever I got to do read fucking two books about it right and so that didn't work so I, I really need to reevaluate my strategy here and my strategy right now is honestly just fucking hope for the best with this roofing shit. Like, what a fucking pathetic ass fucking strategy there. Build an e-commerce store that hopefully is profitable. Hopefully I get a winning product that gets me some liquid income so then I could start trading again and start having my trading profits cover my living expenses so everything else I do is literally just no pressure. <sighs> And I really wanted to move to Florida next year. Quite honestly, I really thought that 2022 was Florida. You know, I don't know anymore. I really don't. I just, I'm going with the flow, I guess. And that I've, I've let my goals slip. I've let my habits slip. I was surrounding myself with people that, and that was the thing in Colorado, I was always alone, right? It was just me and me and all, and all the fucking audiobooks I listened to, the YouTubers I would listen to that were successful millionaires, right? So that's all I had in my head moving here taking a leadership role i was now surrounded by other people right that weren't exactly on the same level as me so that that also gets me when i see my friends on tiktok or playing video games or just fucking relaxing i'm like i want to do that too right i, I don't want to fucking do this hard shit i don't want to wake up at six in the morning i don't want to fucking do this stupid shit because it fucking sucks right but i know when i put anything on the scale when i put anything on the scale millionaire by 25 versus anything else Every single time this wins, every single time. It doesn't matter what I have to sacrifice. This is going to win because I'm going to give it my all. That's all I know how to do. That's literally all I want in life. Like, you know, and it's just, I don't even know if I'm gonna put all this in the video, to be honest, this is kind of deep. I'm like fucking tired as fuck right now, saying some random shit. But I mean, I make these videos for myself anyway. Like. Four people probably is gonna watch this. And so whatever, you know. But uh you know, everybody always tells me you're too hard on yourself, but I think they're fucking stupid. I don't think I'm hard enough, quite honestly, because <sighs> look where I am. <sighs> Rock.
rant over. Anyway, on a more not so serious note, let's uh, you know, me and me and lists. I love lists, so let's go over what I'm going to try to accomplish today. So as you guys know, the music got the music that I use is actually from one of the people that work here at Soderberg, um, Eli, and so him and I got to talking. And we want to try to get him some live shows out in KC and potentially Denver. So I'm going to figure out how to get that set up um, because I think it would be really cool if he made like a live appearance at, at some, one of these shows, right? That would be awesome and, and really good for his career. Um, put plates. And so I have to renew the plates for my entire family. August is the month that the, they um, end. So we're going to have to get insurance, um, the tags, all that stuff. I mean, we already have the plates. We just need the year tags. So... Not too big of a deal, not too big of an expense. Um, figure out Amazon accounts because I, you know, everything just loves locking me out of my accounts and I'm trying to uh, do accomplish shit here. So my Facebook ad account is actually disabled. So I made an entirely new Facebook um, just to just to run ads. And then my Amazon account was suspicious behavior. So now I got to contact customer support and uh, figure that out now. So that's freaking great. I'm trying to become an affiliate so that I can put some products on my YouTube um, descriptions as well as my website and Facebook pages. Um, but I gotta contact customer support. And then put more products on my store. That's a big one because I literally only have one. So yeah as well as do some Soderberg stuff as well. I gotta follow up with a couple people. I've literally lost like so many big deals this year. So many, like all of them. All the big deals I had, pretty much gone. Like fuck, fuck myself, right? Like I don't, I think it's just life testing me, right? Like how bad do I want it? Everybody goes with a cheap bid. It's just kind of insulting really. But uh, I'm going to follow up on some people. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that was my rant. I've been kind of slacking on my posts this month. I've just been like super poopy pants, you know? Like that's not okay to be poopy pants. I gotta figure my shit out, put my life on a billboard and say, fucking judge it. This is my fucking life. Now judge it and, and just hold me accountable because I will get better, right? I will fucking become better. It doesn't matter how many times I fail. I'm going to fucking keep going until I fucking get there. Even if I don't make millionaire by 25, I'm going to make millionaire. I'm going to make billionaire one day. That's my ultimate goal. That's what I want in life. I want exactly how the fucking song says, you know, everyone around me would sleep good, eat soundly. Wait, <laughs> I said that backwards, but you know what I mean? Like who doesn't want that? We all have a similar dream. I just, you know, want to change the world.